It is a truth universally acknowledged that every now and again a situation arises that defies explanation. And so it was with the ascension of the Third Street Saints. When the Saints made their presence known to the world in 2006, they were decried for being pretenders to the throne. The people were confused. Were the Saints sociopathic killing machines hell-bent on destruction? Or puckish rogues living a life of mirth and whimsy? The Saints needed clarity of purpose, and so the course was set. More fun, less mercy killing. This simple choice revitalized the Saints, transforming them from a degenerate street gang into beloved pop culture icons. But even then, the Saints were not satisfied. For it's one thing to be revered as a hero, it is another to be a hero. And that, my friends, is where our journey begins. about this being a setup? It's not a setup. The intel is good. You trust this lady? Ash is one of the good guys. Oleg knows her from the KGB days. Oh, she's tied with the KGB. I feel a lot better. Look, Bert and I worked with her too. She's fine. Oh, yeah, I'm sure she's great at putting someone in a fucking body bag. That doesn't mean we should... Schedule. We need to move. You're a real people person, aren't you? I'm sorry, is this a counter terrorist operation or a Saints flow shoot? I'm Sean. Archer Odekar, follow me. We're here. them to be all business. We know what's at stake. Do you? Look, lady, this motherfucker knows how to get shit done. Don't you worry about me. What's security? My tech guy bought us a ten minute window. If we move fast, we'll only need to worry about the guards on foot. How many of those are there? Don't know about the numbers inside, but there are about eight marching the perimeter. On my signal, we...
fun-loving girl in dreadlocks, but you, you saw me as more than that. We snap at each other sometimes, and I don't always understand your methods, but there's no one I'd rather follow into battle. It's not a problem. You alienated part of America. I alienated crazy people. You couldn't resist, could you? Jesus, not you two. This is a problem. I keep trying to explain that, but the president won't listen. Poverty is a problem. Apartheid is a problem. This, this is just a couple of... Here's the latest approval poll. We lost 20 points. We can get them back. They're at 20 points. I'll admit that's a little lower than anticipated. So you agree you have a problem? Nope, you do. You're the communications director. Fix this. Can you give me 100% employment? No. Will you get married? Fuck no. Then I think you're in trouble. King, can you have this naysayer assassinated? Not when you say it publicly. I'm more fun as a gang leader. We have a country to run. Fun isn't part of the equation. Who's a septic truck when you need one? Come on, Keith, have some good news. He schedules a press conference for this early in the morning. Listen, we've got enough clout right now for one major bill, not both. What do you want me to push forward? Do you want to be the president who cured cancer or the president who solved world hunger? Well, cancer had a good run, but it's time to put it down. Good choice. I hope Kenzie's keeping the sharks at bay. Now, you listen here. If you think you can cram your agenda past Congress, you are in for a rude awakening. You hear me? Now, let me tell you a little something about the greatest word in politics. Filibuster. Allow me to retort. Hey, Doris, we still down for tennis? Oleg and I are about to head over to Camp David to watch some Nightblade. Yep. You down? Yeah, I'll catch you later, Josh. I'm your number one fan! <laughs> nice work, Oleg. President's words were taken out of context. Kinsey, what's the right context for? And I quote, I'm the patron saint of America. We should probably look into changing the Pledge of Allegiance to one nation under me. That's a great question. Jane? I think we have a problem. No, not you two. How many times do I have Asha to- Asha and Miller are waiting for you in the Oval Office. If MI6 needed something, they would send it at the chain, not fly across an ocean. They said nobody back home believes them. Jesus, what's going on? They think we're about to be attacked by aliens. I gotta go. This is serious. You know that Kinsey's been saying the same thing. When did you start taking Kinsey seriously? When the people who helped us save the world said we should. All right, I'll swing by after I... <laughs> Gentlemen, this is not.
not a time for fear, but a time for celebration. Today, the best and brightest among you will find salvation within the Zin Empire. I'm smarter than all these people. Delightful. Kenzie, no! <laughs> I do love your spirit, my dear. I'm Zinyak. Pleasure to meet you. Would you like to join me for a ride? Splendid. Holy shit, how many of you are there? Bird to Ernie, Bird to Ernie. Activate South Portico defenses. Let's do this, you beautiful thing. Enjoy leaping so much. Get off my lawn, you son of a bitch! Didn't count on me, did you? Well, hello there. Welcome aboard. Hang you over the fireplace, you alien fuck. Now, now, not so far. to have fun breaking you. <laughs> oh, goodness me, what a dream. Gosh, what a glorious day. Morning, dear. I made your favorite breakfast. Oh, Mr. King from across the street is going out of town for a few weeks. He was wondering if you could check his mail for him. Oh, and your friend Pierce called. I'm sure he has some crazy new get-rich scheme. Oh, that Pierce. Such a card. And someone named Dex stopped by earlier. I didn't recognize him, so I just sent him away. I think I heard Timmy deliver the paper earlier. Could you fetch it, dear? Sure thing, dear. I did a eye, neighbor. Ooh, I wonder what's going on in the world today. Meet the fine people of Steelport? Well, <laughs> get in the car. Well, here we are. Why don't you glad hand a bit? We got time. Confounded my toe. <laughs> Can I get a picture? Aw, thank you kindly. 
Looks like it's time. Your public is waiting. Oh my stars, it's the president! Hi, Howard. What the f We don't use that kind of language here in Steelport. going on? Where the f*** am I? I gotta get the f*** out of here. Hello? Hello? Kenzie? Kenzie, where are you? Finally! Listen to me. No time to explain, but you have to break free. Break free? From, from what? The place you're in isn't real. Whatever it's having you do, you need to stop. I'm... driving a car. Okay, good. There's a park nearby. Head there and give me a sec. Brace yourself. Brace for- Oh my god! I need some more time before I can get you out. It'd be really helpful if you could just, you know, just be you. Be me? The simulation is all about normalcy. Pleasantry, order, all the things you hate. Go forth. Unleash hell. Whoa. Keep it up! The simulation is resisting, but just keep going! Do more. Bigger! Hold on, I'm sending you something. Find the cat fountain. I left you a present. Jeepers, this is peachy. You're doing great. The simulation is... Oh, no. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Wait a what? What's going on? <laughs> oh, Kenzie's recording this. <laughs> Couldn't leave well enough alone, could you? You had to push and push and push. I hope you've enjoyed your last moments. Puckish rogue. A rose by any other name. Are you trying to kill me or sleep with me? Charming. See, there you go with those mixed messages again. Then allow me to be perfectly clear. I am the architect of your reality. I build what I want. I destroy what I want. And your bravado means... There's nowhere to run. You belong to me. Now, 
onto more pleasant things. I'm going to place you in your new home. Try to run again, and I'll destroy your pitiful planet. Did you ever? My friends, each of you are guilty of crimes against the Zin Empire. But today is your lucky day. Today, you get to be a part of a new work release program. Swear your fealty, and I will empower you to be Wardens of Simulation 31. You will have one purpose. Torment the President of the United States. Beyond that, the world is yours to toy with. Ravage it. Indulge in your basest desire. It makes no difference to me. Just leave the prisoner alive. I want them broken. Not dead. Go now and tear their world asunder. Oh, head rush. Where am I? Come in, President. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. And how the hell am I hearing you? I don't have a phone on me. I just patched myself into your simulation and projected my voice through the audio system. You should be able to hear me from anywhere. And you don't have to yell. Okay, because that's not a little creepy. Kinsey, I'm unarmed here. How about get me out? I can't do that until I backtrace your signal to your physical body. Until then, you're stuck there. So you might want to go buy a gun. <sighs> right. Friendly fire it is. These data clusters seem to be loose bits of code left behind by the simulation for some reason. I've only been able to locate a small amount right now, which I'm having trouble locking onto. Once in the general area of a cluster, I should be able to direct you to its location. Kenzie, door's locked. Wrong door. Oh. Nicely done. Well, that didn't go terrible. Can you quit being a baby and just walk in? Look, lady, we're doing this in my time. No, you're not. Getting us out of here. Gee, Kinsey, thanks for saving my life. Why, thanks, boss. I love being appreciated. Boss, I'm the president now. When did you turn into such a jerk? Surprise, Kinsey. I've always been an asshole. Thank you. I mean it. You're not wearing pants. This just got weird. A little bit. Can I fly now? Knock yourself out. We're not really leaving the others, are we? Hell no. But if we're taking the fight to Zinyak, we'll need all the help we can get. Kinsey, can you get in touch with Oleg? Yeah, we should be in range. Huh. I always thought Nightblade was just a vampire show. Oh no, my friend. It is the essence of drama. Hey, you need to take that? You know anyone with the 217 area code? Is that St. Louis? 
Mm, probably telemarketer. Oof. Ignore. Voicemail? You want me to leave a message? Uh, it's all gone. Well, I'd say this was a productive day. You're a fucking monster. Oh, don't act surprised. I told you this would happen. You killed seven billion people. Whoops. We're done talking. He's not getting away with this. You're goddamn right he's not. Kinsey, can you use this thing to place me back in the simulation? Yeah, I think I should be able to... Do it. Wait, you want to go back in there? You can't kill Zinya plugged into a computer. I can kill a lot of people with a computer. You? Sure. You need help setting the DVR. If taking over a small part of the simulation led you to me, taking over the whole damn thing has to do something good. You don't even know what will happen. She probably does. The president is right. Whenever the simulation is disrupted, I have a small window to work my way inside the Zen security network. The more it's disrupted, the more time I'll have to map out Zinyak's mothership. I can identify structural weakness, locate where they're keeping our friends... And find Zinyak. Yeah. All right, let's do this. When historians look back on the fall of the Zin Empire, this will be the defining moment. An act that was supposed to demoralize, galvanized. And a course was set that the Saints could never back down from. But even more monumental is this. If the Earth was not destroyed, pragmatism would have won over desperation, and the Saints would never have been reunited with the most dangerous man in all of history, Johnny Gat. But ever as always, I'm getting ahead of myself. Like all good stories, the second act begins with a call to action and the building of a robot. Oh, I don't like the idea of us sitting around. Shouldn't we be picking up Matt? The kid could be in trouble. Keith, you gotta relax. The guy's an MI6 agent, for God's sake. He can take care of himself. You needed help getting out, and you're the commander-in-chief. That's a really good point. Why didn't we think of this earlier? Oh, I did. I'm just not a big fan of Matt. Kenzie! Come on! Can't I get some payback? Got a little lost, big deal. Or he got a little dead, who knows? Oh, he's fine. He's probably having the time of his life exploring Zinyak's ship. You're really making a big deal out of nothing. This is a great opportunity for him to build character. Kinsey, this is not the time for a teachable moment. If we don't help Matt, he will die. Fine, take this. You're beautiful. Thanks. Us talking to the robot. It's power armor. Same thing? Not really. A robot is an automaton, whereas power... Don't ruin this, Keith. That landing could have been softer. Are you breaking my power armor? No, and it's not your power armor. If you do damage the power armor, you can find repair kits in some of the storage crates. Man, look at the guns on this thing, huh? Oh, um, I didn't have time to get them working, so... Uh, no guns? You're killing me, Kinsey. I found your power armor. Kinsey, my mech is too big for the door. Can you do something? Ugh. Oh my god, this is a real world. I can't just waggle my fingers and... Oh, look, Kinsey, you weave worlds like a goddess with a brush. I'll find another door. If you can't hack the doors and I don't exactly have fingers, how do I open them? Brute force works. And there are the alien guns. You take care of what's there, and I'll make sure they don't alert the others. I got a robot! Humans in all these pots? Maybe, but I don't think the Zen abduct humans exclusively. I think I'm getting close.
said one of the pods is broken. Any chance that's the one Matt was in? They didn't really label these things, Kinsey, but I hope so. Whoa, 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 Matt, relax. It's me. About time I was rescued. Oh, you wouldn't believe what they have. But I didn't realize they had robots. See, this is a robot. Thank you. Kenzie was all, this is power armor, not... So, not a robot? I am awesome! What kind of firepower does that make have? Uh, Kenzie said the guns are missing... stuff. Typical. Give me a moment to find the parts. This will be much different than any other weapon you're used to. I don't ever sell it. It's a gun, Matt. I got it. More than just a gun. All right, let's get to Kenzie. Close. They're on our tail. Get to the turret. Hey Matt, take the other turret. your ass out of prison, Matt. The least you can do is help protect the ship. Please, if your aim was any worse, you'd be shooting yourself. You can't handle things, Matt. I'm sure Keith David would love a crack at this. That is Mr. Keith David to you. I'm gonna get us to a safe spot. Hang on. Okay, I think we lost it. I'm in front of a passageway. I'll need a minute to open the door. Okay, get ready. Shoot the panel on the left! What's it doing, Kinsey? I don't want to sound needy or anything, but I just blew up a capital ship. You think someone could at least give me a high five? You need to take a look at this. A plane? Why would Zinyak want to build one of those? We're in deep space. It has to be another prison. Whose idea of hell is being trapped on an aeroplane? <laughs> me, Shandi, and... Oh my god. Johnny's alive. Boss, Johnny's dead. Who else would be stuck in a plane? Shandi? It was a life-defining moment for her. It's the only thing that makes sense. You're wrong. I think she's making a lot of sense. She's wrong. Find out where this is. We're getting my best friend back. Surprised Zinyak went back to the well and hid this inside a broken shillelagh again. According to Matt's data, all of the submatrices are inside broken shillelaghs. It makes no sense. Zinyak's big on reuse. I'm coming, Johnny. It was on this plane where Shandi and I lost our best friend. Johnny Gat helped found the Saints originally, and Shandi looked up to him ever since she joined. He sacrificed himself to save us. Now I want our friend back. Damn it, where's my powers? Your powers only work in your simulation. You're on your own. Fine. Well, I'm not letting that stop you. I'm coming, Johnny. Morningstar assholes. Zinyak oh. doesn't have a chance.
Kinsey, the door won't open. I, I don't understand. Oh, is something the matter? Oh, fuck you. Poor Johnny is on the other side of that door. And you can't even muster the courage to open it. He's going to die. Alone. And none of his friends will even get to see the body to bury him. Johnny, I let you down. I let us all down. We never should have ran. We should have stayed and fought, but we couldn't because... We couldn't because of me. And I know people say it's not my fault, but if the boss didn't have to protect me, you would be standing here right now. I'm so sorry, Johnny. <laughs> It wasn't your fault. We left him to die. You didn't save our lives so we could feel sorry for ourselves. Yes, I hate to interrupt this touching moment, but we haven't even got to the best part of this plane ride. Oh, fuck me. I'm gonna study Oh, fuck. Kinsey, what happened to Shandi? I, I don't know. It's like she's everywhere. I gotta find her. Oh, this should be entertaining. Whoa, whoa, what the fuck's going on, Kenzie? I don't... Boss? Boss, are you there? K Kenzie? Great. This can't be good. Nobody thinks these things. Of course they do. Everyone always carries me through everything. Shani, that's not true. What the hell is going on here? Hey, get off me. Boss, are you there? Yeah, I'm still here. Hold on, why are you in a nightclub? What happened to the plane? This is Shawnee's nightmare, Kenzie, trust me. This is where I'm supposed to be. Uh, uh, cut it out! Who's that? I better get down there. You're not going anywhere. Use the stun gun. Let her go, veteran child. Yeah, like that's gonna happen. Will somebody tell me what's going on here? You think you can take her from me? <laughs> Use the stun gun. Thanks for the help. Anytime. Shandy? That is not Shandy. Uh, actually, Kenzie, yeah, this is. No, something screwed up. Shandy doesn't act like this. She has, like, one emotion. Pissed. This girl needs a bowl fast. It's fine. Just move on. You're remarkably calm right now. Hey, sometimes your exes try to kill you. What can you do, you know? You want a party? No. This isn't me. Shandy, are you okay? This is getting weird. Get out. What's her problem? My problem? My problem is that I used to be you. This isn't a born again thing, is it? No, she's future you. Makes sense. So what happens to me? What do you mean? Look, Shandy, let's get out no, no, of- No, 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 I want to hear what I have to say to myself. What did you mean, what happens to me? Well, evidently, I've become a total frigid bitch, so I just wanted to know what's up. Oh, you mean I stopped sitting around smoking drugs from a broken light bulb all day? Guys, maybe we should- Yeah, you're lame now. You used to have fun. I used to be useless. What? The most memorable thing you ever did was get captured by your smoked out ex. That's not true. I'm sorry. And fucking half of Stillwater. Go team. I always thought you were just really friendly and hated pants. Someone gets it. I hate me. Let's get out of here. I've been researching your friend, Pierce. Are you sure you wish to retrieve him? What kind of a question is that? An honest one. Historically, you spend nearly half your time ridiculing him. Yeah, but it's all in good fun. Making a man who risks his life for you and what you stand for the butt of your comedy routine is all in good fun? Yes? You're a terrible person. Can you give me the goddamn cipher? I'm saving his life, you know. You don't have to convince me. Just yourself. Drink up. We're talking about this later. Face of the Saints, Pierce Washington was always comfortable in the public's eye. Some may think he's gone soft because of this, but he's always been loyal to the crew no matter what had to get done. Damn it! Get away from me! Pierce, hang on! I'm coming! Saints blow! 
What the fuck is going on here? Boss, am I glad to see you? Hold on. This is your greatest fear? Marketing gone bad? Bad? Our own IP is attacking us and you're making jokes? These things are trying to kill me! Or pour you a drink, ever think of that? <laughs> okay. Let me stop and ask them if they're just trying to serve me a cold, refreshing drink. Good. More guns. You like it. All right, let's see what old what's his name can do. How about a little ladle action? Oh, you don't like that, do you? Don't worry, Paul. I'll pour one out for you. Oh, that's right. Pop that top. Time to make a monument. Yeah, that's a good look. Just kind of fucked up. You ready to get out of here? Yeah. Can't wait to get back to Earth. Right. Forgot to tell you. Earth got blown up. What? What's going on? The president is about to enter Ben King's mind. So? Are you kidding me? The boss is going back to a time when they weren't in charge. When was the last time you saw that? I feel like this is an invasion of privacy. When did that ever stop your administration? We never invaded Yes, yes we, we did. did. Jesus, what did we do? I'm committing treason if I tell you. I think treason only matters if you have a planet on which to be tried. That was bad timing. You get to be quiet now. Okay. From leader of the Vice Kings to best-selling self-help book author to the President's Chief of Staff, there are few people who have done as much as Benjamin King. I think I almost tried to kill him back in Stillwater before his own lieutenant staged their little coup. <laughs> Guess it worked out for him. Kinsey, am I? Back home in Stillwater? Yep. Look at this place. <laughs> it's just how I remember it. I expected the buildings to look a lot worse than this. Yeah, they've really improved over the years. Watches! I got watches in! Yo, hey man, this shit'll cost you $600 in the store! Oh, whatever, man! Watches! Yo, I got watches! Hey, baby, I could show you a good time. Hold on. Doesn't someone try to kill me soon? Shit! Ben! Oh, hell no! Man, fuck the rollers! The VAR, you gonna let those bitches disrespect us? Shit, what you think? Whoops. Nice going. <laughs> oh, Kenzie's recording this. Did you look at that? Recognize that place? Yeah, of course I do. I was just a kid when I came back here. <laughs> Well, I was too scared to talk back then. That must have been nice. Excuse me? I didn't say anything. Wait, Tanya? Oh, fuck, not you again! What the hell was she doing here? That's far enough. King, whoa, whoa, it's me. Remember, I'm the president and you're my chief of staff? Shit. Yeah, I remember now. What's going on here? My crew turned on me. Tanya and Big Tony pulled a coup and now they want my ass dead. I was hoping Julius and the Saints would help me out. Oh shit, he's not around here, is he? No. I'm never able to find him. <laughs> no, 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 believe me, it's for the best. Now let's get you out of here. Always being interrupted. Uh, Tanya thinks you bitches can take me out? I'm my still name standing. is Benjamin motherfucking King! Didn't you kind of drop Tanya out of a window under your car years ago? Yeah, but that ain't what happens here. Every time I see her and Anthony, they end up putting a bullet in my head. Then I wake up and it's the same shit all over again. Claire, more coming in! We're sitting ducks in here. Take King and head back to the portal. I'll get you- Whoa, whoa, whoa hold on. We're not leaving yet. What? Why not? You have King, so just- How about you, Ben? You ready to leave yet? Hell no. 
I'm not going anywhere till Tanya and Tony are in the ground. We're staying, Kinsey. Come on, King, let's go. Boss, are you sure about this? There's Spice Kings all over that area. Ben, when did Tony and Tanya usually show up to kill you? Tanya's usually tried already. I think I scared her away earlier. Sorry. If we can hold out here, then Tony shouldn't be far behind the rest of the VKs. This feels just like old times, doesn't it, player? Simpler times, King. Kenzie, can you see if Tony's on his way yet? I've been searching the simulation, and so far, no sign of either of them. But they are gonna show up, right? Since King has been reliving this over and over again, it stands to reason that the parameters of the encounter should remain the same. I think that means yes. But you understand it. Maybe I can find the programs for Tony and Tanya inside the simulation's code and force them to spawn. Or maybe you won't have to, girl. Look! That's Anthony! Let's kill his punk ass! It's over, King. You can't outrun us forever. I didn't let the crew kill me when you all took over, and I ain't let you kill me now! Hey, I tried to warn him. Why can't Anthony ever listen? Boss, you and King should head back down the street to where you came in. It looks like Tanya's on her way. Hold on! You're just thinking of this now? I've been ready ever since I got here. Though I'll give Tanya one more chance to give herself up. Meaning? Meaning put your weapons away and we'll see if she's willing to back down. Yo, look who it is. Well, well, Benjamin. Time for you to die with some dignity. So much for her giving up. Anthony's dead! The Vice Kings are through! <laughs> That's just precious. You think I need Tony to kill you and your sidekick here? What are you calling sidekick, lady? I don't think we can drop her out a window this time. Fine by me. Always. What the hell happened to her? Honestly, I don't care right now. As long as she ain't killing my ass over and over again. Good point. Let's clean up the rest and then get out of here. look like out there it's bad why do i have a feeling that's a big understatement you know me too well we have a plan kind of kind of we're getting the band back together and then we're gonna kill zinyak that's not a plan that's a goal what you got a better one kenzie you listening yeah i want to turn this whole simulation off you think you can do that with my help she can i don't need your help yes you do that's why you saved me first you saved matt before me brilliant computer hacker Record mobile. Experience with virtual worlds. Experience with street gangs. My experience is empire building. Empire building? I'm sorry, who became fucking president of the United States? Who's the person that the fucking president of the United States asked to run their cabinet because they were way over their head? I was not in over my head. True or false? You called me at 3 in the morning asking me to run your election because you weren't polling for shit. There's some fine points you're glossing over there, buddy. You're right. You weren't asking me. You were begging me. Are you two finished yet? Keith, have you been watching the whole time? Yeah. And I'm just throwing this out there. I think there's only a passing similarity between me and Julius. Whatever, you're like the same person. How many of you guys are listening in on us? All of us. Let's not fight in front of the kids. Do you seriously have a plan? I do. Work it out with Kinsey and Matt and fill me in when we can execute. You got it. All right, I'm killing your connection, Benjamin. We'll see you soon. Hey, King. You really hate that you end up in second place, don't you? Yeah. I didn't know much about Asha Odakar before she helped us save the entire damn country, but in the years since, I've come to know her as one of the best soldiers I've ever met. If I'm gonna take down Zinyak, I want her in my crew. I just think you're really building this up. And I think you're drastically underestimating how dangerous the mind of a super spy can be. <sighs> super spy? Jesus, man, I get that you want to fuck her, but you don't have to build her a pedestal. That is beside the point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Catch you later, man. I get it. This is beginning to be my personal hell, too. 
Kinsey. What am I wearing? You should see what your face looks like. Why? What did you do to my face? Matt told me some very specific concerns that she has about you. The fuck are you talking about? Where is he? Last chance. Fuck you, slut. You're like Johnny Gat with better hair. I'm nothing like Johnny Gat. Fair, Gat was never self-righteous. Don't you dare confuse duty with self-righteousness. Yeah, because those two never fucking overlap. Says the President of the United States. You say the title like it's a dirty word. It is when the role is filled by a psychopath. Puckish Rogue! <laughs> Or what? What the fuck is going on here? Who are you looking for? Your evil twin. What? Hold up. An evil twin? But I thought it was better than saying I've been sent to kill evil you. All right. So what tip the scales? Best intelligence shows code name Mr. X is preparing a full assault against their own nation. I've been tasked with making sure they don't succeed. Ooh, sounds serious. So, can we talk about why it is you have to kill me again? Uh, You'll find out soon enough. Can't even give me a hint? Think of your worst asset. Multiplied by a thousand. Sounds awesome! Gosh, is that... a person? The facility is just ahead. What kind of facility is this exactly? You'll see. Look, I know secrecy is MI6's thing, but I've had it a- Hold up. Guards. Careful. If the guards see this box in the main walkway, it'll blow our cover. Let's get behind this guy. Fuck this, I'm totally killing this guy. You what? Shh! I'm two weeks from retirement! I suppose that's an option. Wait for him to pass. I'm really looking forward to that sandwich. Come on, lunchtime. Be patient, let him get by you. Stay alert, stay alert, stay alert! The enemy could be anywhere! Not again! Another guard. Wait for the right moment. Uh, can't wait to kill something. Anything. Pow, pow! <laughs> Just kill him! Yeah. Well done. I have my moments. How in the hell are we gonna get past that? I hope you're limber. Even the slightest disruption of a single beam will send a 2,000 volt shock through your entire body. What we'll have to do is move through the gaps in a serpentine pattern. <laughs> yeah, fun with that. I'm taking the air duct. Do evil geniuses usually leave their air duct covers unscrewed? So an evil version of me is your worst nightmare? Uh, how do you mean? I mean, according to Kinsey, every person's simulation is based on their deepest, darkest fears. Okay. You fear me being in power more than anything else? Well, the extent of your ego is certainly terrifying at times. Oh, nice. Nice, Ash. Real nice. Stay on guard. Mr. X could be hiding anywhere. Ash, uh, I thought you knew me better than that. Why would I hide when I can kill your friends in front of you? Say hello, Matt. Asha, I... Good talk. Wow, you're cold. 
Johnny cried like a little bitch when his girlfriend got killed. I'm not gonna give you this satisfaction. Ooh, I love it when you talk tough. Then you're gonna fucking love me, you piece of shit. You. See you soon. What the hell is this place? These are all people. They're replications of a highly functional sociopathic paradigm. You mean like Hitler? It's you. No shit. Asha, about that. I'm not sure what this whole thing is, but I know it isn't real. While I don't relish the idea of seeing someone I care about being murdered over and over again, I also don't see a purpose to needless blubbering. Hey, I was just... Focus on the job. Look who's here. My favorite wannabe spy and her BFF. I admit I was surprised to see you in here, other me. But then I realized Asha would never be able to do this without some help. Well, we killed me. Yeah, we did. You smoke? I do now. Evil me was kind of an asshole. Good you was kind of an asshole. Blame my parents. Daddy issues? Nah, just... forget it. Oh, don't like talking about your past. Don't see the point. Who cares what I did before I joined the Saints? Aren't you going to ask me about mine? I thought we were killing evil clones, not picking out place settings. <laughs> yeah, you should probably get out of here. Once more for old time's sake? Yeah, why not? Feels weird not being in a shitty sports bar. We could always name the ship the Broken Shillelay. Not funny. Kinsey, relax. Doing my best. Look, if you're worried about me going brain dead, I figure it's part of the deal. You have to say something. What aren't you telling me? Thanks, Matt. Kenzie. It's not you she's worried about. It's everyone else. Oh, this is gonna get real exciting. It doesn't matter. I have a feeling we're about to disagree. Saving Gat is a terrible idea. The fuck's got into you? You're out of line. The boss don't answer to you, honey. <laughs> Bitch, you're lucky we're standing in front of Keith David or... Stop it! He's right, okay? It's a terrible idea. In order to save Johnny, we have to tap directly from our ship into his mind, and that means Zinyak's going to know exactly where we are. You're asking Matt and I to paint a target on humanity's last chance so that you can go rescue someone we've never even met. And what's even stupider is that we're going along with it. That guy you just beat the shit out of is risking everything to save your friend. And you want to know why? Because we can't save ours anymore. Oleg is dead. Viola is dead. Earth is dead. So how about you stop being a fucking asshole and say thank you for giving us the hope you'll never have? I'm sorry. Yeah, well, you could have killed me back in Steelport, but you let me go. I can forgive a few punches. Okay then, get in the chair. Hey boss, what do you think Gat's mind is like? No idea. But if I had to bet, I'd say either a shooting gallery or a freckle bitches. Johnny Gat is the oldest friend I have and the baddest motherfucker I know. I mourned him once when I thought Philippe Loren had taken him out. Now that I know he's alive, I'd walk through hell to bring him back. Is there GPS on this thing? How do I find Gat? But, do you remember how to use this suit? That's who I remember. That's not really an answer. You know what? Don't worry about it. I'll find Johnny. Keep an eye out for more Zin. They're on the offensive now. They weren't on the offensive before? Zinyak's not dumb. I doubt we've made a single move so far without him knowing about it. I don't think we would have made it this far if Zinyak didn't think he could handle us. Thanks for the pep talk, Kenzie. Shit, the door's locked. Hold on. Never mind. You must have it down, didn't you? Worked before. I see no reason to switch it up now. The pot's empty. Same as the others. Do you think he'll be okay? Johnny can handle himself. Hell, if Matt Miller can survive. I, I'll have you know... Ow! Casey, why did you... Just grab Johnny and bring him back, okay?
So I'm in the plane doing my thing. Seem your reputation doesn't do you justice. Earth's most puissant warrior? That's what he called me. You're telling me he abducted you years before his invasion because he thought you single-handedly could stop him? Yeah. That's so fucking awesome. You realize that means Zinyak's more afraid of him than you, right? Shit. Johnny, go back to the part about the meat shield. You guys, don't take this the wrong way. But I spent years living in the past. I'm ready for the future. Good. Because if we're going to pull off King's plan, we're going to need all the help we can get. I'm not late to the briefing, am I? We haven't started yet. I'm waiting on Miller. Still feel bad about punching Matt in the face. He'll get over it. Or he'll kill me in my sleep. That's always a possibility, too. Got whoa, whoa, guy, guys. Can we just get to murdering already? We got a problem. Now we're talking. What's up? The Zinn are coming. Here? That's probably why he said it's a problem. All right, let's take cover. We should be able to ambush them. Not so sure about that. Static coming from, and how did the Zen find us? I thought your hideout was safe, Kin. You alien fuck! No! Boss, you need to get back to the ship. Now! Shanti, what the fuck are you doing? They got Kinsey! Boss, the Zinn are here. What? We were set up. I got out of the simulation. Pierce and King were out cold. The proximity alarm is screaming, and Asha Miller and the Vice President are gone. They kidnapped Keith David? And left us sleeping so we get picked up by Zinya. Too bad for them we're awake. What's the plan? You and Gaz secure the doors while I check on Kinsey. We'll get you back, Kinsey. Just hang on. You ready? Because we got visitors. That's why I get paid the big bucks. Let's clear out the lower decks. We have to hold the room! Fuck that! I'm not waiting for them to come to me! Why are we moving? Let's get to the bridge. Shit, are we driving into the sun? Gotta check the monitors. No need. I have already analyzed our situation. Shit, I forgot Mr. Deix Ex Machina was even on the ship. A Zin transport has attached itself and is dragging us toward what I assume is certain doom. So, what can we do about it? If I were you, I would deal with the strange heat signature by the cargo bay first. Cargo bay? Fuck! Let's go! Uh, get off me! Shandy! Ooh, so close! Kinsey okay? Everyone's fine. The Zinn grabbed me and... Hey, Sid said something about heat signatures? One of them put a device on the wall. I'm not sure what it is. We got bombs over here. Bombs? Yeah. 
and they're set to blow. You thinking what I'm thinking? Shandy, go back to Kenzie and the rest. Gat, let's go blow up a spaceship. You got a specific thing you want to blow up, or just shit in general? Kenzie, what's the weakest point in the Zen ship? Yo, boss, Kenzie's... Fuck, I... Look, we'll just find the biggest, glowingest thing on the ship and stick the bombs to that. These Zen sure do make a good argument for murdering him. Oh, they're nothing compared to their leader. I am gonna enjoy every second of tearing Zinyak apart. Take your time, huh? That sounds like a plan. If you get the chance, I'm gonna rip Zenyak's goddamn head off. Hey, where do you think the Zen had Kinsey? I don't know, but when I find Matt and Asha, I'm gonna beat that information out of him. Yo, we got some alien gun over here. Hell of a welcome back, huh, Johnny? Fuck, you were thinking I wanted to go to Hawaii or something? I live for this shit. Don't worry, everyone loses to me. Large red cylinder, huh? Big and glowy. Looks perfect. Here you go. Gotta find something that looks important. This looks important. Let's blow it up. What was that? Yo, these bombs are hotter than we thought. Let's get the fuck out of here. Yo, quit fucking around and get in here. <laughs> That wasn't a bad fuck you to Zinyak. Let's get out of here and find Kenzie. God damn it! What happened? MI6 fucked us. I knew it! Asha had it out for me since jump! She talks shit in Pakistan, she sucker punched me here. can't believe Miller had me fooled. To think I actually apologized. He's probably been working this angle for a while. Hell, he might have even been the one who tipped off Zinyak about Johnny. Doubt it. Dante said that the lowest circle of hell was reserved for betrayers. But it's important to remember that it's the storyteller who decides who the hero is, not morality. But while philosophers will spend years debating the ethics of the Kinsey Gambit, the Saints had a less charitable view. Keith David is a dead man. My fellow Americans, I know firsthand what this war with the Zen has cost us. How many more need to die before we realize that the time has come for us to put aside our pride and focus not on division, but unity? Does Zinyak have a strong personality? Absolutely. But then again, so did the previous president. And you know what? When I look at the two of them, I see more similarities than differences. Both have proven leadership experience. Both maintain their composure in high-pressure situations. Both have a love of Jane Austen. But most importantly, both of them will not stop until they get what they want. For this war to end, we need to stop rattling sabers and realize that victory doesn't come from annihilating an enemy, but by making an enemy your friend. All of us are heroes in our own stories. The time has come for us to grow up and have perspective. Earth will have its salvation, but it will come on the back of humility, not violence. Cute speech. Where's the part where you talk about selling out humanity? Humanity? 
Does that mean the nine of us? Earth is gone because you provoked a madman. I trusted you, Keith. And I trusted you. The country trusted you. And look where that led us. So what, you're putting your faith in Zinyak? Giving up your free will to be ruler of some bullshit daydream? You don't get it. Zinyak said he can restore Earth. All I have to do is kill you. He's lying to you. Maybe, but there's billions of lives at stake. If he's telling the truth, what's one life for the greater good? You sound just like Julius. He was right. things. How do they even get the tank balls through the doors? They can bend the simulation to their whim. They- I'm venting, Matt! Let it go! I know where they're keeping Kinsey. Keith. We had a deal, my friend. Now what am I supposed to do with a naughty little boy like you? Ah. Enjoy your requiem, Mr. Dave. <laughs> Hell am I? Matt, you there? Matt? Matt? Oh shit. Gotta snap out of it! Snap out of it! Look, you crazy mother! Stay away from me! Keith, you know better! I'm telling you, you dumb son of a bitch! I'm trying to save your life! You couldn't even save your own! Keith! Listen to me! I'm giving you a choice! Get away from me! Let him go! They have him bad. Hey, I'm Roddy. Roddy Piper. Hey, I'm the President of the United States. Sure. Why not? Well, Prez, we got visitors. Damn, I'm good! Keith sold out someone very important to me. Whatever trance he's in, I need him snapped out of it. He's going crazy. He thinks we're all out to kill him. Anything happens to Kinsey, and I will be. What is this place? A television broadcasting tower. What the hell's he gonna do with the broadcast tower? He's a crazy man with a microphone. What do you think he's gonna do? Ladies and gentlemen of America, the threat is right oh, in front of us. You got it all wrong, Keith. Zinyak's in your head. He's got you all confused. Keith, listen to me. The Zinyak guy is bad fucking news. You! He's headed for the roof! Soon, the whole world will know the truth. The satellite's what's controlling, Keith. You take care of it, I'll handle him. I'll take out the CIDs. The what? Never mind, I got this. Satellite.
upside down. Did it work? No, the brainwashing is too ingrained. I'll have to beat it out of him. If you want to know where your friend is, now's the time to ask. Where is Kenzie, Keith? Where did Sinyak put Kenzie? Tell me, Keith! She's... She's... She's in... Keith, I think you got some unresolved issues. You don't know what happened, to me, kid. Now come on, we've got to save Kinsey. Wish we could call Roddy for help. No one calls Roddy for help. He shows up where he's needed most. Let's go. The information I got from Keith was a code of some kind. Apparently, he overheard Zinyak telling one of his subordinates a series of numbers somehow connected to Kinsey's location. I'd bet these digits line up with some proprietary coordination system used by the simulation, but I don't have access to that. We'd need someone who's able to plug directly into the simulation. Send the data to Sid. We'll take it from there. Data received. Hmm. Very interesting. It seems... Ah! Oh, shit! What's happening? I don't know. I... 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 Oh, here I go! Uh, Matt, I'm... following Sid. I'm going to hack the code to find out where Sid is going. Don't touch anything! I didn't know Kenzie had a thing for bunnies. If I had to guess, it looks like this sigil is connected to some sort of secret room. Secret room? Clever girl. Time to see what's in it. You look like a hussy. Are you sure this is the right place? Absolutely. What the fuck is all this? A map of the simulation. Where are all the broken shillelaghs? If it would make the map more understandable to you, I could create a hologram. God, no, we're good. So can you find Kinsey? In theory, yes. The time-consuming part will be identifying Kinsey's brainwaves in a sea of other data. Find whatever looks the most abnormal. It's probably her. Insulting, yet accurate. Good luck. Oh, man, this place me. Kenzie! Great, come on, let's get out of here. If you want to speak with my husband, he'll be home this afternoon. Kenzie? Say, I'm afraid I don't have much of a green thumb. Oh, can you help me get this bulb to sit right? No, Kenzie, I can't. What? What are you doing? Hurry! I'm being held captive by... Kenzie? What just happened to Kenzie? Ooh, that must have been a decoy. That's smart. See if there are any more around. Matt, I found another Kenzie. I wait. Ah, oh, shit. What's going on? Cops have Kenzie! I forgot to put my... What the heck? Ah, no. doesn't have a chance! All right, man, I needed that! I wish I had a driver. I really hope this is the real you. Golly! That bump sure was a doozy, wasn't it? Get to City Hall. Hurry! Okay. If he borrows it. Do you remember Cyrus Temple? Oh, the thug who launched a nuclear missile to take out America because he's a big baby that hates losing? Yeah, name rings a bell. He's in charge here. Are you serious? 
Should he be dead? Not in Kinsey's mind, no. Oh wow, well, there he is. Hey, why is he so much younger and not in uniform? Cyrus says Kinsey. Matt, give me a gun. I can't! God it, Matt, give me something! He has speaker boxes all over town. If you really want to shut him up, you have to take them all out. I will continue this town's tradition of quiet, peaceful reflection and strict obedience. Here we go. I will enforce the rules that make our society the well-oiled machine it needs to be in order for us to all... Matt, man, come on. You've got to give me some kind of weapon. I'm telling you, this simulation is locked. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Excited, Matt. This can't be good. I've left you something in a weapons crate. A um, music gun? Seriously, Matt? I told you, no weapons allowed. But the power of music can overcome all obstacles. Fuck it, I'm in. Music gun it is. It falls on them to raise children who are obedient, respect their elders, and are accepted of their future roles. There are two more! They keep at Propaganda truck! Better than everyone! The Sam Hill? Hey, I thought this was a party! Let's dance! Now, you hoodlum. You wanna dance? Dance with me. Hey, I've got a new track for you to try. A new track? I'm uploading it now. Give it a shot. Oh, check you out, DJ Miller. Is anyone counting these kills? <laughs> Kenzie, let's get the fuck out of here. Hey, you swore! Kenzie, you're okay. You don't tell anyone what you saw. Do you understand me? Kenzie, it really wasn't all that... I said anyone. Hey, you got it. Just saying it was a cute poodle skirt. Ben King's a genius. We managed to figure out how we can overload the simulation completely. When did you two figure this out? Just before I was kidnapped. Probably why Zinyak went after me, actually. So how do we do this? If I can hack directly into the main system, then I can bring down the walls between simulations and force Zinyak to divert an enormous amount of resources to keeping it from crashing altogether. Don't we want it to crash? Oh, it will. He won't be able to stop it. But for now, what I need from you is parts. For a key. A key? Keys don't have parts. Uh, not that kind of key. Anyway, that will be there to help you. Remember, this is important. will need to assemble the key are the central processing unit, memory modules, and gravity inhibitors. I've located a CPU at the old Steelport Guard Armory. While you get that, I'll look around for the other stuff. Up yours! How's the key? Nearly built. 
world. So without power, it's really just a glorified paperweight. So plug it in, let's put it to use. If it was that simple, don't you think I would have done that? Um, no? Ugh, we need compatible power sources to make it work. I'm sending Sid in there to help you with that. Try to be nice to him. I have found a compatible power source for the key. Predictably, it is controlled by the Zin. Interference from these cells make it impossible for me to pinpoint the exact locations, but I should be able to determine the general areas of the three we need. Alright, Sid, here's the deal. You need me to ravage you. Uh... Maybe? Don't worry. I'm fully equipped to pleasure you. Sorry, but my mechanical body needs time to cool down first. I respect you too much to bullshit you. You don't respect me. Yeah, that's that's true. What do you want? I'm looking for rough sex and Kinsey scares the shit out of me. I stay on top and you don't get to talk. Deal. Hey Kinsey, you wanna fuck? I know over the years you've heard this speech a bunch of times. Heard it? Bitch, I wrote it. <laughs> but we need to remember why we do what we do. And today the stakes are even higher. Earth is gone. It's not coming back and nothing we do today is gonna change that. But one thing we can do is get revenge. And you better believe we're showing this motherfucker humanity isn't dead because we're still alive. This isn't about hope or faith, or even about winning. Kenzie's right. Those things died on Earth. This is about will. This is about saying, I don't give a shit how many times you knock me down. If I'm still breathing, I'm standing right back up. And you know what? You can hit as hard as you want, because when I hit back, I'm going to lay your ass out, bitch. It's our time now. Let's get this shit started. Here's the deal. You're gonna need three teams to help you defeat Zinyak. The first team will help you get the key into the mainframe. The second will help you overload the simulation. The final team will get you into the Zin mothership so you can get to Zinyak. Fair enough. All right, figure out who you want to help with the key and we can get you all loaded into the simulation. Asher and I are a seamless team, anticipating each other's actions. We'll get the job done proper. I think you're selling it a bit much, Matt. You guys are with me for this part. See you both inside. Head back inside the simulation and the key will be waiting for you. Thanks, Kenzie. Zinyak won't know what's hit him. According to Kinsey's intel, the key needs to be taken to the old Syndicate Tower. The entrance to the system is in the loading dock. We will be driving the truck while you keep the Zin off us. After entering, Sid will be in charge of driving the key into the main computer hub, which will cause the simulation to begin destabilizing. Good luck. The key's loaded up. Climb on and make sure it doesn't get destroyed. Standard escort, I got it. Only if this fails, we could all die. He's a real downer sometimes. I'm serious. If we screw this up, we won't get another shot at bringing down the simulation, we won't create an opening into the Zen Mothership, and we won't be able to locate and go after Zinyak himself. All right, I understand. Don't worry, this is gonna work, Kinsey. As long as the key doesn't get destroyed, like I said. It won't get destroyed, I promise. Just a little farther to the tower. Oh, I'm sorry, but this highway wasn't clear for heavy loads. <laughs> 
the hell? What the hell? What the hell? Kenzie, what now? You're going to have to use your telekinesis to get the key there. The portal isn't far. Let's go. Damn, they put up a force field. I believe I can hack through the shield. All right, you heard Sid. Protect him and the key. No problem. It'll be just like that bit Matt and I did in Vatican City. The shield is now down. All right, let's move. You guys gonna be all right? Take the key and go. We'll finish up here. Once you get inside, listen to Sid. He'll know what to do. Right, we'll see how that works out. Get in there, Sid! To watch this simulation okay, destroyed, I, I will harness the system's energy to fuel the power cells on the key. Yeah, you do that. Uh, <laughs> should probably get out of here, right? That would be a good idea. Remember, steel port's breaking down inside the simulation right now. Whoever you take with, I should be able to open portals into their personal nightmares. But don't worry, whatever comes through will be on your side. Don't worry, Pierce and I can handle anything going on in there. It's going to look a little weird in there. Just remember, that's normal. But, like, wait a minute, like how weird? What's gonna happen when this whole place crashes? Not sure. The data may get corrupted or it may simply reset. Either way, it should overload some of the Zin ship systems directly. So we could be doing all of this, but no. Well, it's certainly going to mess with the Zin enough to give us our shot at taking out Zin yet. Of that, I'm 99% positive. What about the other 1%? Just covering my bases in case something goes wrong. Kinsey didn't say anything about shit exploding. I knew she was holding out. Looks like the Zen know their weak spots, Kinsey. They're all over the area. Then do what you guys do best. Don't make me do all the work, Pierce. <laughs> like I'd let you take all the credit. Alien okay, that's better. Activating the portal now, but it's going to take some time. Make sure the Zen don't destroy it while I establish the link. Zenyak doesn't have a chance. How is it that we always end up in situations like this? What, fighting against crazy enemy factions intent on trying to kill the saints while causing mass amounts of destruction? In the process of saving ourselves and the people around us who don't get caught in the crossfire? Yeah, I was wondering that too. Actually, I've been defending shit while Kinsey works her hacking magic. Oh. The Zen are flying in. should start seeing... Saints flow? Damn it, not again! Yeah, but in overcoming the nightmare, they're now on your side. On to the next portal, then? Hold on, someone's going to have to stay to make sure this one stays open. Pierce, this is all you. I am not sticking around with your crazy can people. Right, just keep yourself alive. We'll see you when we're all out of here. The second portal is over by the arena. Holy shit! Is that Paul? Told you! Kenzie, you just may cry a little. Well, it's working, the simulation is shutting down. And that's good, right? Yes, except it's collapsing faster than anticipated, and if you don't get out soon, your mind will get trapped inside. So get moving! Shit, make sure the others get out too! Already done. They were both close to exits.
Did it work? We bought ourselves a window, but you gotta move fast. What's the plan? We're gonna kill a lot of aliens. I like it. To get to Zinyak's throne room, you'll need a spacesuit and some weapons for destroying the ship's outer defenses. The schematics show an armory not too far in. I'd head there and see what you can find. You heard the lady, let's move! Kinsey? <laughs> You'll never believe this. It's a robot, isn't it? No, Kinsey. It's power armor. <laughs> no way. Now this is what I'm talking about. Time to finish this fight. Okay, now all you need to do is make it through the ship's infrastructure, take out all its defenses, and thereby clear a path for us to get to Zinyak. Oh, is that all? Easy enough? You pick the others up? Yep, everyone's on board. We'll be right behind you as you clear a path. You're coming up on the defense grid. Touch those beams and you'll be fried. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nobody said anything about death lasers. You. I want to hold that thought. The way through is closing up. Damn, they activated the blast shield. You'll have to land to find a way to override it. With what? You have power armor, so it's got to have some weapons and power built in. Use them. Superpowers in the real world? <laughs> I should have let you build me power armor years ago. I'm not seeing a control panel anywhere. Try to find the power conduits and use your suit to overload them. They did it. Yep. You should be clear to get to the throne room now. We'll keep following and meet you there. I think Zinyak's ships have seen better days. You could come for me, but you don't stand the chance. One shall stand, one shall fall. Why throw away your life so recklessly, Saint? It's a question you should ask yourself, Zinyak. Kinsey, how do I get into Zinyak's throne room? Honestly, I can't find a way to open it up. But don't worry about it, Kinsey. I got another plan. Here I come, Zinyak! So well. I'm really gonna miss these bonding sessions when I kill you. <laughs> Look at you. Mercutio to my Tibble. Don't be too excited. Tibble dies at the end. I'm surprised you knew that. I didn't. Kinsey told me over the radio. Uh well, at least you're honest. Always. That way you know I'm not lying when I say I'm gonna rip your goddamn head off. You're adorable. Zinjai? Yes, Your Excellency. Is the Empire watching? Of course, Your Excellency. Humanity is dead, my friend. The time has come for you to follow suit.
expecting that. Let's do this. Kill you, my whole empire will see the futility of humanity's last stand. Here and now, I shall show the Zin Empire once more why they serve me. You didn't give them a choice. It's time that changed. No, oh, please. I have conquered countless worlds. Only your pride makes you think the saints could defeat me. Zinyak, this ain't pride. This is wrath. <laughs> No more hiding, Zinyak. This changes nothing! Your whole empire is about to change. No one's coming to save you now, Zinyak! The legacy of the Zin Empire will continue to live on. Avenge my death. Then your race. Shut the fuck up. Do I get a manservant or what? Excellency, I'm Xinjai, your personal steward. All right, Xinjai, I need you to level with me. How technologically advanced are the Zen? In our experience, we are the most advanced culture in the known universe. Xinjai told a friend of mine that he could restore Earth. Was he lying? A half-truth, your excellency. Earth has been atomized. There is no undoing that. However, time travel would allow you to see Earth again before its destruction. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Time travel? Zinyak was fascinated with Earth culture. He made it a point to go back and build a menagerie of his favorite humans. Don't tease me, Your Excellency. Let's go on a field trip. When the novelty of shaping history wore off, the saints remembered the words of Zinjai. Is this all of them? It's hard to say, Your Excellency. Zinyak was a long-time collector. And that, my friends, is how I first met 